Now, David Cameron is facing the prospect of a rebellion from Conservative MPs later. Parliament votes on whether a referendum should be held on Britain's place in the European Union. All Conservative, Lib Dem and Labour MPs have been instructed to vote against the motion, calling for a national vote on the issue. But around 70 backbench Tories could defy the Prime Minister in the Commons. The West Midlands Independent MEP, Nicky Sinclair, started the petition that led to today's vote. Uh, thanks for coming on the programme this morning, Pleasure. Nicky. Uh, why do we need a national vote then? Well, because I think it's about time. I think people, your listeners, will probably be sick and tired of this Euro debate, and they've been promised referendums in the past, and they've never, it's never failed to materialise. It's never materialised, rather. Um, and so, you know, I set up this petition uh, about a year ago to collect these 100,000 people. Primarily, the signatures have come from the West Midlands region. I've been to, into Hereford and Worcester many times with the battle bus collecting signatures, and so I'd like to say a big thank you to those that have signed the petition. We delivered the 100,000 about a month ago, supported by uh, cross-party section of MPs and that's forced the debate today. Um, we're going to Down Street again today to deliver the rest of the signatures which will total then 120,000. But your timing's terrible. Sir Malcolm Rifkin was saying that uh, this is just the worst possible time no, to ask no, for this because we're right in the not. maelstrom of, of everything that's going on in Europe at the moment with the problem with the euro. So for us pulling out and, and walking away from it, it's going to have a massive no, impact absolutely. on businesses here. No, absolutely not. No, And if, you, if, you, if your listeners cast their mind back to the late 1990s, we were told all the scaremongering happened. If we didn't join the euro, our economy would collapse and we'd be the poor man of Europe. It didn't happen. It was scaremongering. The eurozone is their problem. It is not our problem. It does it have very little for us. It is the French banks, for example, on the Greek bailout. It is the French banks that are, that are going to suffer the most. And David Cameron actually admitted yesterday that our banks would hardly be affected by the Greek bailout. It is their problem. Problem. And why are we giving them £45 million a day plus to bail them out and to support the European Union when we're having a central cutback at home? Well, well that, that's, that's a case of renegotiating, which is... No, it's not. Well, no, it's not. Well, it, this, it is, this, isn't it? But, but what you're no, saying no, no, is to walk away from it, Nicky. That's the Conservative lie. Because in, in the European Union, to renegotiate anything, you have to have unanimity among all 27 nation states which is the problem. So for David Cameron to get any concession, he has to get the permission of all 26 other countries. But if we vote to leave the European Union, we only need the say of our own people. Mm. And that's all, we have, that's all we have to do. And we've elected our MPs. Opinion polls show over and over again that the majority of people want a referendum and now a clear majority of people. Three YouGov polls in the last six weeks have shown that a clear majority of people want to leave the European Union. So what, who, who, who should listen to who? The politicians to the people or the people to the politicians? Well, that, that, I thought that we is a, in a democracy. A, a fair point, but it, it's a three-line whip on all of the three major parties. Isn't, isn't, isn't that a Content. Look, this, this process, this 100,000 process to force a debate in Parliament was brought in by this government to basically empower people and give people power. What contempt for people to say, here you are, here's this new style of politics that you, where you can have your say, and then they introduce old politics to, to, to stamp on it. The thing is, though, Nicky, you've got absolutely no chance of, of winning this at all, have you? Well, actually, I, I think I came on some BBC programmes last year when I set up this debate, and, and people said to me, you've got no chance of getting this debate in Parliament. Well, I, I'm I, talking I, about winning the debate. Well, well, well I'm sorry, well, I, I remember in the 1990s when only 8% of people wanted to leave the European Union, and now it's 52%. We are winning this argument, and we will leave the European Union, because it cannot, it might not be next year, it might not be in five years, but we will end up leaving the European Union, because it's getting out of control, it's costing too much money, and we're having to make severe cutbacks at home just because we're members of the European Union. We need to stop this. We need to take control back of our own government and i would say to your listeners and thank you very much once again for those who signed the petition but we're going back down there at 10 30 today to deliver it and if they wanted their name on that list they can sign at the website www.haveyoursay.eu and by signing up their name will go to Downing Street, and they will send a strong message to david cameron that they want a referendum on our britain's membership of the european union nikki sinclair many thanks she's the west midlands independent mep